Thanks, Mugo. Yeah, we actually did just learn one new piece of information I want to share right off the top here. We understand that that officer who was shot is now alert and was talking to his wife in the emergency room, which is a good update. We do know at some point uh, this officer has had you know at least one surgery. Uh, obviously, details are still unclear and coming in. But in terms of how grave these shootings really can be, that is a good update to hear. So I want to kind of backtrack and set the scene a little bit in terms of what we understand so far. And just to kind of supplement what Mugo was saying, uh, we also understand from Superintendent Brown, who gave an update a few minutes ago, that officers did not open fire. Uh, they were shot at as they got out of the elevator. And actually, I want to take you to a moment that Superintendent Brown was highlighting in terms of how this all unfolded and also how that hurt officer got to the hospital to begin with. Take a listen. We have recovered a gun. Our officers did not fire their weapons. <clears throat> Responding with our officer is a University of Illinois at Chicago police officer who was monitoring our radio. And as the officers uh, came back downstairs to get the wounded officer uh, to, to here to the hospital, the University of Illinois at Chicago officer uh, helped transport him in his squad car here likely saving his life. Some key details here. Uh, that offender is in custody. We understand that the offender was taken to Mount Sinai. We learned that uh, this person had, this man had uh, injuries to his wrist. It's not clear yet how those injuries came about. Of course, there's speculation about that. But what we can tell you is that offender is in Mount Sinai. And obviously, when an, someone is taken to the hospital, uh, charges are a little bit more complicated. That tends to happen a little bit later in these scenarios. And back to this officer who was hurt uh, in the abdomen, in the arm, is in serious condition at the hospital. That was at last check. And uh, of course, as soon as we know more, there's a whole lot more information that we learned in just the past few minutes. You can head to our website, cbschicago.com, for the very latest as soon as we learn it. Reporting live outside of Stroger Hospital, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you. Our crews will continue working the story from all angles. We'll bring you updates as we continue to learn them. And